my life my life and i want to start this by asking you this basic question whose life are you living whose life are you controlling whose life whose life is it that you are working for okay whose life is it that you are living whose life is it that you are working for whose life is it that you are controlling I'm sure your answer is similar to mine, that it is my life. It is your life. You as Jane, you as Hannah, you as Hortensia, you as Paul, you as James, whoever you are, you as an individual, it is your life. This is an aspect that you must not forget if at all you want to perform best, if at all you want to experience a breakthrough, that this is your life. This is not somebody else's life. It is your life. It is not the life of your parents. It is not the life of your guardians. It is not the life of your relatives. It is not the life of your uncles. It is not the life of your teachers. It is not the life of your boss, maybe if you have a boss, it is not the life of your partner. It is your life. Let me tell you something. Even those who live together, even those people that maybe is a husband and a wife, they all has got their life as an individual. Do you understand me? So I want you from now, henceforth, to take this and take it from me, that whose life this is, is this? It is my life. Any activity that you undertake, anything that you do in this life, anything that you do on your daily basis, it is your life. And I want you to take this and take it from me, that your life, it's all depends, depending on you. You are both the director and the producer of your life. You are the one who dictates how your life will be like. You are the one who dictates how your life will be controlled. You are the one who dictates at what class will you live your life. You are the one who makes these decisions because it is your life. You could be under your parents today, but remember, it's your life. You could be living alone today, but remember, it's your life. You could be Wherever you are, it is your life. Whether you live with others or you live as a, as a single person, as alone, I mean, it is your life. You are the director, you are the producer of your life. And I extend that and tell you that you are the CEO of your life. Take this example, and I give this example for free. Um, imagine of a big company, whichever com big company you refer as big, it may be in Kenya, you could be talking of Safaricom. You could be talking of uh, maybe other companies like uh, Airtel. You could be talking of other companies like Extranet. You could be talking of other companies like uh, Kiroche Breweries. Whichever company you are talking about, my dear friend, okay? If you are the CEO, if you are the, at the topmost of that company, of the administration and management of that company, okay? How would you behave? How would you like to see business work in that company? How would you like to see employees behave in that company? Let me tell you, it's the same way with your life. You are at the helm, you are at the top of that life of yours. You are, the, you are the CEO, the chief executive officer. And to some extent, you are also the chairman of the board. So you are at the topmost. You are the one who dictates what happens in this business, what happens in this institution. And in this case, in this case, it's your life. The business, the institution, it's your life. You are the one taking control. You are the one taking charge of what happens. Hello, are we together? So this is your life. And I want to give you an analogy. If you were blessed with a vehicle, with a machine of your choice, okay, and maybe you could be a Ford like the one that's there on the screen, whichever machine you aspire to have, okay, if you are blessed with that machine and you are on the road, 
behind the steering wheel and you are on the road. You are the one controlling that machine. Okay, how would you feel? Definitely, I'm sure the feeling would be nice. The feeling would be a good feeling, a nice feeling. You'd be feeling excited. You'd be feeling happy. But there's something that I would like you to learn. That when you go to the road, when you are on the road driving, there are a number of things that you have to adhere to. Number one, there are rules. There are rules, the traffic rules that you have to adhere to. Otherwise, you cause an accident and there are repercussions of that. Are you together? Number two, you are the one who makes decisions other than uh, going as per the traffic rules. You are the ones who make a decision on, number one, how fast you are going to move with that machine or how fast you are going to drive the machine, are you together, or how slow. In other words, you determine the speed at which this machine is going to move. Are we together? And the second thing, you decide to which side this machine will turn. You are the one who makes the decision where it turns to the right or it turns to the left. Are you together? You control it using the steering wheel. When you want to turn to the right, you turn to the right. When you want to turn to the left, you turn to the left. So it is you taking charge. Another decision that you make with this uh, with this machine of yours, you are the one who decides who to carry on board, are you together, and who to drop. You understand me? That anyone who comes on the boat, okay? Again, it's you who decide at what point are you going to drop him? Maybe depending on where you are, you are going to, your destination. Are you together? And the, the, the last decision that you make about this machine is when it will stop. When you want it to stop and when you want it to move. Hello, are we able to see that? That that machine, in other words, it's a hundred percent depending on you. Okay, you are the one who starts off the engine. You are the one who stops the engine. Hello, you are the one who decides to which side it will turn, and you are the one who also determines the speed at which it will move. Are we sailing together? So, in a similar way, in a similar way, I want you to take this analogy in your life that that machine you are driving on the streets, this is your life. This is your life. And you are the one taking charge. You are the one controlling this machine. That is your life. That if you want your life to move to the right direction, it's you to choose. If you want your life to move to the left direction, it's you to turn. If you want to, your life to move so fast, it's you to turn. If you want your life to move so slow, it's you to turn. If you want your life to stop and stop, it's you again to decide that. You are the one taking charge of your life. That's what I'm insisting. And that's why I tell you today that my life is my responsibility. My life is my responsibility. What I do with my life, it's my choice. It's me, it's upon me. In other words, it is out of the decisions that I make with this life. It is out of the choices that I make in this life that this life gets to have an impact. Hello, I don't know whether you are able to get this and get this from me, okay? That your life is your responsibility. You as a student in school, are you together? You are not working for anybody's life. It is your life. That's what you forget most of the time. Okay, that as you do your assignments, you are not doing your assignment for the teacher. It is for you, the sake of your life. That as you do what you are doing in school, it is not, it is not for anybody else's benefit. It is because it is part of your life and your life is your responsibility. There's something that I hear Kenyans say that Kenya is our country and Kenya is our business. Okay, that's a very common statement, especially with the politicians, that Kenya is our country and Kenya is our business. It's the same, it's the same note that I want you to take this, that this is your life and your life is your business, that it is you who takes control. So 
What does this mean? What does it mean when we say that your life is your responsibility, that my life is my responsibility? What it means is when you make mistakes, accept and be responsible of those mistakes. This is something that maybe we are really taught or we are really told about by our parents and our teachers, okay? Don't get blames. Don't get excuses. Be responsible of those mistakes. Accept your mistakes. And that is the only time that you'll be able to focus on performing best in your academics. That's the time you'll focus on performing best in your life. Hello, are you able to get me that from I mean, are you able to get that for me? That you have to take responsibility of what happens in your life because your life is your responsibility. Okay, stop blaming others. Stop blaming others. Be the one taking charge. And take note of this. I'm talking about your life. I'm not talking about what happens. 